It's that time once again, the final moment before lights out and the charge down to turn one. Who will come out on top at Paul Ricard today? We'll find out soon as the French Grand Prix gets underway. Mastering a lap of Paul Ricard means getting to know 15 corners, six left and nine right for an overall lap distance of 3.6 miles. The two halves of the long Mistral Strait are separated by a heavy braking zone into a potential overtaking hotspot at the Chicane Nor. And watch out for the drivers running onto the distinctive coloured stripes, which are low in grip and highly abrasive. Here we are then at the circuit Paul Ricard in France, the 10th race of the 2020 Formula One season. And the standings are starting to take some kind of shape, Ant. Yeah, exactly. You've got your big three jostling for position at the top, so no surprises there. A little less predictable in the midfield, though you could make an argument for Alpha Tauri underperforming somewhat. The two Alpha Tauri drivers denying each other points, perhaps. Well, it's all to race for and a lot of season left ahead of us. So let's see how it all pans out. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Sergio Perez and Ricardo, Norris, Vettel, Sainz and Lance Stroll, Ocon, Ackerman, Devon Butler and Albon, Magnussen, Raikkonen, George Russell and Aidan Jackson, Giovinazzi and Nicholas Latifi. That's it then, it's time to go racing as we head to trackside for today's race. OK, we've not quite had the start of the season we'd hoped for, but we've got a chance to make up some ground today. Try to keep your nose clean and show us what you've got. Good luck, Aiden. Nice work, that brings you up a place.
We can now use DRS. DRS now available. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Top 10 now, keep it up, gap to teammate behind is 4.0 seconds. Smooth. Good job.
great work. That's a new fastest lap of the race. In this lap, in this lap, push now. Casper is in the pits, Casper in the pits. We expect the grip levels to start falling away soon. Go now. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Maneuver, you made it look easy.
car gap behind is 4.5 seconds. We have five laps of fuel remaining. That was the fastest lap of the race. Keep this up. There's four laps of fuel remaining. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. We're leading our teammate by 50.9 seconds.
Fantastic drive, just fantastic. You deserved that race win. Alpha Tori will no doubt be celebrating tonight. What a great win. Business as usual for the big three, but a bit of a reshuffle in the midfield here in France. That's certainly much better from Alpha Tauri. Frankly, they should be in the mix more often. On a good day, they're as good as anyone in that midfield pack. And they've certainly proved it today. Our winners are heading to the podium right now. Alpha Tori have done an exceptional job when it comes to forging new talents and seeing them take home the victory. Today is a huge positive for the future of the sport. Great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. Aidan, congratulations, you got on the podium. That's a fantastic result for both you and the team. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's a team effort. I'm just the one behind the wheel. It was an amazing result today, and I think everyone deserves it. I'm just pleased I could bring it home for them. Well, it's such a great result, especially since it's your first season in Formula One. Would you say you found your feet now since the jump to F1? I think there's always going to be hurdles. And look, you never know what's around the corner. Change is always difficult, but I think I'm settling in. The team seems happy at least. So there's no current tensions within the team. We've all seen that you and Casper have locked horns so far this season. Is that something that's now behind you? I can't really comment on that. I'm sure it'll be fine, but we'll just have to see what happens. Thank you for your time. Ryan. Aiden, just so you know, there's a full team meeting in 20 minutes. No worries. We just want to review our strategy while the race is still fresh in our minds. Right, okay. I'll see you there. Hey, listen, while you're on, I just wanted to say that was some solid driving out there today. I'm impressed. I appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Put it this way. It's been noticed. Well done, kid. I'll see you in the meeting. Hey, Ma. Hello, love. Just calling to say well done, as usual. You okay? Thanks, Mum. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Real good. I think I delivered today. I thought so. And I think the neighbours probably did too. <laughs> I couldn't stop shouting. <laughs> oh, not again. I'm so proud of you, Aidan. Hey, it's Silverstone soon. So does that mean you'll be home for a few days? Probably. I'll try and get over for a day or two, either side of race weekend. You know, Silverstone was always your dad's favourite track. I know. You're still coming to the race, right? Do you really think I'd miss out on the VIP treatment? Of course I'm coming. I just wish it wasn't on my own, you know? Yeah, I know, but I'll be there, and I can't wait to see you. Me too. Anyway, I won't keep you. I imagine you want to go and celebrate. Well done again. Love you. Love you too, Mum. Speak soon. <laughs> 